Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in that resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just release any tension around your eyelids and notice as you breathe out all of that tension melts away and with your eyes closed notice just how much more attention you have for my words and the sound of my voice Breathing in that resourceful relaxation, exhaling tension. Drifting deeper, deeper down to a place where your imagination awakens. I want you to think, think of a place, a place in nature that as a child you enjoyed spending time. Maybe near water, like a lake or a river. Maybe a park that used to play. I want you to observe that version of you, perhaps being 12, 13, 14, maybe older, maybe younger, and see yourself smiling See yourself with a freedom, an energy. See yourself with high levels of confidence and self-esteem. See that version of you that was happy in your own skin. But outside in nature, and when you see that version of you, let me know by nodding your head. And just for now, step into that version of you, feeling how you would feel to have that level of confidence, that level of self-acceptance, that ability to like who you are and how you are, a version of you that embraces everything that makes you uniquely you and I want you to imagine there is a place there outside that you could imagine just having a short nap a dreamlike sleep so maybe there is a chair or perhaps you could imagine a blanket on the floor Just imagine placing yourself in that comfortable place where you start to drift off into a dreamlike sleep but still feeling that worthiness, that acceptance. Hear it in your own inner dialogue. I like who I am. I feel good about who I am. And then drift off into that dreamlike sleep. Five, just releasing all the tension in the face. Four, releasing any tension in the neck and the shoulders. Three, arms, just getting limp, loose and heavy. So relaxed now. Two, just releasing any tension, particularly in the chest and the gut. And instead, discover a glowing feeling of worthiness feeling of value and then one just feel that relaxation spread all the way down your legs to your toes and just imagine drifting off into that dreamlike sleep I want you to feel that you are at your current age drifting through time to observe Perhaps the weeks or months leading up to what you felt at the time was a breakdown. See yourself as a child, through your eyes as an adult. 
and witness. Witness yourself witnessing arguments and stress. Volatility and abuse. And I want you to see that it takes its toll on that young version of you. But I want you to imagine we're looking at this through a new lens. What you're about to witness is not a breakdown, but a breakthrough. You didn't become broken in that moment. A resolution, a new insight was formed. The goal was never to keep you away from women, to make you fear women. The goal was to protect you from toxic relationships with abusive women. But sometimes one plus one can equal three. And you didn't know what the meaning of that event was at the time, but now you do. But with this new meaning applied, see the same chain of events taking place. But this time, see yourself witnessing a breakthrough, a resolution that you will do whatever you can to become empowered. And you didn't know it at the time. But the way that you can get the kind of relationship you desire and deserve is to become the most self-accepting, confident, resourceful version of you. Not to become smaller and insecure, but to step into all those qualities that make you uniquely you. I want you to imagine a new timeline, different from the past, but if at that age, perhaps 15 years old, you witnessed a breakthrough, the kind of breakthrough that empowered you to do whatever you can, not to be perfect. Perfectionism is a trap, but to make constant progress, to be the best you can be. But being the best you can be full of self-confidence, self-acceptance. See that 15-year-old version of you looking at yourself in the mirror with the biggest smile, knowing that you like exactly who you see being reflected back. And that confidence makes you immune to rejection. Anyone that doesn't like you for who you are means they're not worthy to be with you anyway. Consider this level of self-confidence making you invincible to any rejection. Because the kind of person that would reject you doesn't meet your own standards. Any person that would be derogatory, abusive or cruel is the very thing that your breakthrough is guiding you to move away from. These red flags, as you imagine that timeline from 15 onwards, meant that you quickly picked up on clues of women to avoid, but also qualities that you desire and admire. If the abusive women, the women to avoid, find yourself being attracted to kind, caring, compassionate women. If women that are more masculine and dominant are the kind of women to avoid, see yourself attracted to feminine, light, easygoing, agreeable women. 
And if it feels that this feels like a safer, less anxious future, let me know by nodding your head. And just imagine that new version of you, at 17 years old, calls someone they like. But instead of getting through to the person they like, just imagine witnessing that 17-year-old version of you full of confidence, full of high self-worth. That that interfering auntie starts trying to scare you away. And as the phone goes down, see that 17-year-old version of you smiling. Deciding that you didn't get a no from the girl that you liked, just from the auntie. So see yourself in the days and weeks that follow, communicating directly with that girl. And imagine that she likes that confident, tenacious, that because you're making effort to find a way, not easily scared off, that makes you more desirable to her. As you realize that you were never rejected, just an interfering auntie trying to protect their niece from someone they didn't know. And if it feels that this new version of you is actively seeking to avoid not any woman, but certain women with certain qualities, traits, or characteristics that you witness firsthand could lead to undesirable places. And I want you to think that maybe in the entire world, maybe less than two or three percent of all women are that type of woman. And I want you to go forwards in time to your future now over the next few weeks and see yourself with a new level of confidence, immune to rejection, with a new frame of reference that you don't need all women to acknowledge, accept, or even like you. But you have a new belief system a belief system that you are the most desirable person for certain women. All women have a type and I want you to imagine that you are the perfect type for certain women and they will let you know through eye contact and smiles initiating conversations or the occasional close proximity or even physical touch for the women that you are their type they will let you know and when they let you know you then know it's safe to have those conversations maybe to ask them on a date but it's safe because they've already given you the green light. And even if what you thought was a green light wasn't, who cares? So what? Sometimes you might interact and someone doesn't feel the way you thought they would. And maybe it's because you're not their type after all, or maybe it's just because they're anxious. They have insecurities and fears and worries. But either way, you pay that no mind. Anyone that isn't into you, by default, no longer is a matter of concern. I want you to step into that future version of you and just feel that you're in the kind of place that you might notice 
if someone likes you. Feel that confidence, that self-worth, that self-acceptance. A deep feeling that for a certain percentage of women that are available, single, that you are their type. And almost feel like a radar detector is being activated deep within your intuition. So you notice those women that notice you. And when you notice them noticing you, feel that you are unlocking the courage and confidence to just say hello and introduce yourself. How can you be rejected simply by telling someone your name? If they don't like you, end the conversation and walk away. But if the conversation continues, feel empowered and confident to ask for a phone number, maybe their social media account. just enough so you decide what your next move is. You don't have to do everything in a single interaction. As you feel you're giving yourself options without obligations. And if you feel that that breakdown was now a breakthrough to avoid toxic relationships and toxic women and to unlock a level of self-acceptance in you to make you even more desirable to women that would naturally be attracted to you let me know by nodding your head it's time to return back to that memory of a childhood place As you feel that you can leave that blanket on the floor or that comfy chair. And it's now time to return to the present. But all those feelings of confidence and self-worth and self-acceptance all return with you. With a new frame of reference. A new way of thinking. The only door you're closing is the door that could lead to a toxic abusive relationship. All those other locked doors are now open and you feel curious and even excited to start exploring a wonderful future. So take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Connect fully with the present moment. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, confident, motivated, with an incredible desire to awaken what was always truly within. Starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6, more alert. 7, 8, open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 10-11, 